guys, do you have a couple of furniture pieces or decorative accessories in your home that you are no longer using, but you don't want to throw them away? Well, hi, my name is Tamala, and you're watching Designing with Hope on Design. In today's video, I'm going to show you three different items in my home that I have repurposed into something totally different. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss out on this fun and exciting video. Okay, guys, I am sure everyone out there has a piece of furniture or a decorative accessory that you are no longer using in your home, but you can't quite bring yourself to throw it away. But you also want to be able to repurpose it into something different so that you'll be able to use it in your home. Well, today I'm going to share with you three items that I was originally using in my home for one purpose, and now I have repurposed them into something different. Now, the first piece I want to talk about is this iron frame right here. Now, I had picked this up from one of my local thrift stores, and it had a mirror attached to it. Now, I have tons of mirrors already throughout my home, and I really didn't have the need for another mirror. So what I decided to do, I removed the mirror from the frame, and I took the frame down to one of my local hardware stores, Home Depot, and I had them to cut a piece of MDF form to fit perfectly onto the frame. I took some chalkboard spray paint and I made a chalkboard surface and I created a new chalkboard menu for my kitchen. Take a look and see how it turns out. Now the next item I want to show you, it was long overdue for us to get a new ironing board. So I was excited because I had just finished redecorating my laundry room space and don't forget to check out that video and so I wanted everything in this space to be new so I had my husband to remove the legs from our old ironing board and I had him to the remove the ironing board cover so now let me show you what that looks like now now this is what it looks like with the legs and the ironing board cover removed it sort of kind of looks like a surfboard now doesn't it but I want you to check out to see how I repurposed my old ironing board. Okay guys, I just want to briefly show you how I was able to hang those hats and baseball caps and belts onto this ironing board. I just simply went to Home Depot and I just picked up a bag of S hooks and they come in all different sizes so you can get the size that's going to work for you and for the things that you're wanting to hang on the ironing board. And that's all I did. I just simply hung the ironing board up on the wall with a regular nail and I just simply added the S hooks and I just hung up the belts and the hats and the baseball caps onto my newly repurposed ironing board. Now this is one look that you can create with an old ironing board. Now, I want to show you a different look for the ironing board. Now, this look would be perfect in a little girl's room or in a young teenage girl's room. And what I've done here, I just simply added on a travel bag. And a lot of these things you can just insert directly through the holes or you can hang them with the S hooks. And then I've added on the sunglasses. I've added on the ribbons. And then I've also inserted headbands. You can also hang your earrings and your necklaces. And you can also hang bracelets on this ironing board as well. Now you can paint this ironing board whatever color you want just so it'll coordinate with the space. For a girl's room, you can spray paint this white, hot pink, purple, red, whatever color of your choosing. And if it's in a boy's room, you can spray paint it black, gray. You can actually leave it silver if you want it to. So this is another look in another way that you can use your old ironing board or repurpose it for another usage in your home. And my last piece I want to share with you guys is this side table. Now I picked this up at one of my local outlet stores. It's by Bombay Furniture. They are no longer in business, but they were very well known for their traditional furniture and traditional accent pieces. Now, this normally retails for $299, but I got it for only $35. Now, it's a solid piece of granite, and the base is solid brass. Now, the reason why I got it for $35 is because of this. 
the top is dislocated from the base. So now I did not want to run the risk of using this as a side table and having someone to bump it and the top falls off and there you have it. So check out to see how I have repurposed the top of this side table. Okay guys, I just wanted to briefly show you how I created the Granite Lazy Susan. I just simply picked up this wooden Lazy Susan from Bed Bath & Beyond, if you notice it spins. And then I just took the granite tabletop from that side table and then I just placed it on top of the wooden Lazy Susan. Now, look how beautiful that is. I have repurposed my side table into this gorgeous Granite Lazy Susan. Now, hopefully I have stirred up those creative juices in you so that you'll be able to go and find that one piece of furniture or decorative accessory and repurpose it to use it in another way in your home. So now don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and share this video with your friends and family. So in closing, decorate your home to tell your story. It's Hope. Bye for now.